The war in Ukraine may be shifting. That comes as President Biden is in Poland near the border with Ukraine tonight. Now, Shannon Halligan is here with the latest on this. Shannon? Well, it's estimated now that 3.7 million people have fled Ukraine since the Russian invasion started a month ago. But there are signs that Russia's military advance on Ukraine's capital has stalled and Moscow may focus fighting elsewhere in the country. Speaking Friday, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky said troops had succeeded in containing the Russian army and in turn is forcing the Kremlin to consider negotiations. A month of fighting has left Russian forces stalled in much of the country. They haven't managed to capture any major cities. I just managed to encircle, to besiege some smaller cities in southern and eastern Ukraine. Now, a senior U.S. defense official said Russian ground forces in the past few days have shown little interest in moving in on Kyiv. The deputy chief of the Russian general staff said his forces had largely achieved the main objectives and could focus on the main efforts to achieve the main goal, liberation of Donbas. Retired Army Colonel Edward Bowie said Russia's initial efforts to quickly take Kyiv and other eastern cities failed, and now Moscow may be shifting their focus. They were stopped and stopped pretty cold at that. Um, they seem to be having a very, very, very difficult time getting their logistic house in order and in order to generate the kind of uh, force at the sharp end that would push through a surprisingly resilient and effective Ukrainian defense. Still, Russian troops continue airstrikes, and Ukrainian authorities now believe 300 people were killed in an airstrike last week in Mariupol. That strike targeted a theater, even with the Russian word for children painted outside. This is a, uh, a barbaric war, and um, uh, according to international conventions, uh, deliberate attacks on civilians are, are war crimes. President Joe Biden arrived in Poland Friday, where millions of Ukrainian refugees have fled. After meeting with U.S. service members and refugees, the president highlighted NATO's united opposition to Russia. Our effort to curtail the devastation that is occurring at the hands of a man who, I quite frankly, think is a war criminal. White House officials reiterated today that U.S. service members will not be deployed to Ukraine. President Biden is expected to meet with Ukrainian refugees and give a major address in Poland tomorrow. All right, Shannon, thanks. Pope Francis